Another day, another story. Social development psychology is the study of how we develop socially, including our relationships with others, our understanding of social norms and expectations, and our ability to navigate social situations. In this essay, we will explore key theories and concepts of social development psychology, including the work of Erickson, Bowlby, and others. We will also examine the various factors that influence social development, including genetics, environment, culture, and experience. Eric Erickson's Theory of Psychosocial Development Eric Erickson was a German-American psychologist who developed a theory of psychosocial development that emphasized the importance of social relationships in development. According to Erickson, our development unfolds in a series of eight stages, each of which is characterized by a particular psychosocial crisis that we must resolve in order to move on to the next stage. The eight stages of psychosocial development are trust versus mistrust, zero to one year, during this stage, infants learn to trust or mistrust the world based on the care they receive from their caregivers. Autonomy versus shame and doubt, one to three years, toddlers begin to assert their independence and learn to do things for themselves, but they may also feel shame and doubt if they are not successful. Initiative versus guilt, three to six years, preschoolers begin to take on new challenges and responsibilities, but they may also feel guilty if they fail or if their actions are not socially acceptable. Industry versus inferiority, 6 to 12 years, school-age children focus on mastering new skills and knowledge, but they may also feel inferior if they are not successful or if they are not accepted by their peers. Identity versus role confusion, 12 to 18 years, adolescents begin to explore their identity and their place in society, but they may also feel confused or uncertain about who they are. Intimacy versus isolation, 18 to 40 years, young adults develop close relationships with others and form intimate connections, but they may also feel isolated if they are not successful. Generativity versus stagnation, 40 to 65 years, middle-aged adults focus on contributing to society and making a difference, but they may also feel stagnant if they are not successful. Integrity versus despair, 65 years and up. Older adults reflect on their lives and feel a sense of satisfaction or regret based on the choices they have made. John Bowlby's Attachment Theory John Bowlby was a British psychologist who developed attachment theory, which emphasizes the importance of early relationships with caregivers in shaping social development. According to Bowlby, infants have an innate need to form attachments with caregivers, and these attachments play a critical role in shaping their social and emotional development. Bowlby identified four stages of attachment. Pre-attachment, zero to six weeks, during this stage, infants are not yet attached to a particular caregiver and are equally comfortable with anyone who provides care. Attachment in the making, six weeks to six to eight months, during this stage, infants begin to form a preference for their primary caregiver and develop a sense of trust and security with that person. Clear-cut attachment, six to eight months to 18 to 24 months, during this stage, infants become more attached to their primary caregiver and experience separation anxiety when that person is not present. Formation of a reciprocal relationship, 18 to 24 months and up. During this stage, toddlers develop a more complex relationship with their primary caregiver and begin to share their feelings and emotions with that person. Other perspectives on social development. In addition to Erickson and Bowlby's theories, there are other perspectives on social development that Thanks for watching, 